got some great news to share with you today about nutritional science. Researchers at the Lamar College of Medicine at the University of Vermont have published an article, science paper, in PLOS1, which is a, an open source, peer-reviewed science journal that's not funded by Big Pharma. They found that magnesium alone can treat depression better than antidepressant drugs. That's right. Magnesium alone, in just about two weeks, using a relatively small dose, just 248 milligrams, that's a quarter of a gram per day, was able to reduce symptoms of depression by an extraordinary amount to where people themselves, they rated that their own depression was going away. And magnesium is incredibly safe, it's incredibly affordable, just pennies a day, and it doesn't make you suicidal and violent like SSRI drugs do because those drugs, those mind-altering psychiatric drugs are very dangerous. They've been linked to nearly every school shooting or mass shooting of that kind in America over the past couple of decades. Because being on those drugs or coming off of those drugs makes you crazy. And mostly those drugs don't really work, but they do mess with your mind, so they're dangerous. But the drug companies earn billions of dollars a year off of those drugs, so they don't tell you the truth. Even your doctor doesn't even know the truth that magnesium is the solution. Magnesium literally pennies a day. You could, you could prevent and treat depression for under 10 cents a day versus how, how much do these antidepressant drugs cost? I don't even know because obviously I don't take them, but what do they cost? Like a couple hundred bucks a month? And some of these drugs are thousands of dollars a month for different kinds of treatments and, and, and conditions. I mean, a lot of Americans are literally spending, you know, through government subsidies, Medicare, Medicaid, insurance reimbursement and so on, they are, they are generating literally thousands of dollars a month for the drug companies in terms of drug profits. That's why we're going broke, people. That's why healthcare is not affordable, because big pharma is running the show, because they're making money off everybody's sickness while the FDA suppresses the truth about natural medicine like magnesium, like we're seeing in this paper. Magnesium could save America a billion dollars a year. In Congress right now, they're talking about healthcare reform. Most of that talk is a total joke because they never get to the, the real problem, which is big pharma. The real problem is that everybody's on these psychiatric drugs and these other expensive drugs that don't work. Or even if they do work, sometimes they're very, very expensive. And they're, they're bankrupting our country. They're bankrupting the health insurance companies. They're bankrupting businesses, bankrupting families. The, the answers are right there. So, I mean, this study is great. Magnesium can treat depression. Magnesium. And it's the same mineral that can also prevent heart disease or cardiovascular disease in certain, in certain people. Maybe not in everybody, but it's very helpful for, for a lot of people. It helps prevent leg cramps. It helps prevent stress in the body. Did you know that magnesium is crucial for your heart muscle to function in its cycles of contraction and relaxation? Did you know it can't do the relaxing part without magnesium? Magnesium needs to be in every muscle cell in your body for your muscles to function correctly. It's a basic essential nutrient, and most people are deficient in it. And for pennies a day, pennies a day, you can get magnesium and you, you can prevent all of these health problems that cost our country a fortune, that, that's bankrupting our nation. And even, I'm, I'm reading this right out of sciencedaily.com, by the way, the title, with healthcare costs looming, Low-cost magnesium, a welcome option for treating depression. Seriously, that's a Science Daily headline. Ten years ago, you would have only read this in Natural News. Today, because of how expensive the drugs have become and how bankrupt America is becoming, today this is mainstream science. This is mainstream science. I remember that you know, a decade ago, if you said that, that magnesium could prevent anything, prevent heart disease, prevent depression, prevent cramps, you were called a, a, a wacko. You were called an anti-science quack for daring to suggest that magnesium, oh well, my God, nutrition, you know? Remember all those morons out there like Quack Watch, Dr. Stephen Barrett back in the 1990s, and he would have articles everywhere that talked, uh, oh, there's no truth to any nutrition, you know? Food science it doesn't exist, he, he said. Vitamin C is useless, acupuncture doesn't work, he would say. All these things, he was out there just trashing every form of nutrition and natural medicine. Well. He was an idiot, and uh, Science Daily is now running the headlines that I've been telling you for years at Natural News. Magnesium and other nutrients can treat and prevent disease. And yet the FDA, still to this day, the FDA insists that there is no such thing as a nutrient or a food or an herb that can treat or prevent any 
disease or health condition whatsoever. That is the official position of the FDA, which is still stuck in the 1950s, I guess. What, they can't read science? They, they, they can't look at the science journals and look at all the amazing nutritional science that's being published today? You know, I review hundreds of science headlines every day. And I see every day, I see more stories about resveratrol, how resveratrol from grapes kills cancer stem cells in the body. I read stories about turmeric and curcumin and green tea catechins and uh, black cumin seeds and all of these amazing, powerful plant-based nutrients. There was an article the other day about how uh, microalgae from uh, something like chlorella can be used after a heart attack to uh, save lives at an extraordinary rate that it, it helps the heart work better even when it's been compromised. You know, just every single day there's more nutritional science coming out that tells us that the answers to our healthcare problems are very simple and very safe and very affordable. I, look, I've come to the conclusion that in America today, for under a dollar a day, we could prevent as much as 75% of all cancers, diabetes, and heart disease cases, and probably a lot of Alzheimer's, dementia, and so on, just by having basic nutrition for every single person every day. Even if the government paid for it, which means the taxpayers pay for it, but even if the government mailed out a bottle of basic nutrition to everybody in America once a month with some vitamin D, some vitamin C, you know, some magnesium in it, a little bit of zinc to prevent colds and flu and so on, just a basic high quality supplement, it would cost less than a dollar a day to prevent the vast majority of all cases of cancer, diabetes, heart disease, kidney disorders, liver dysfunction, even depression, as we're seeing with this study. Literally, America could save billions of dollars a year just by turning to basic nutrition that is so incredibly affordable and so safe that everybody needs vitamin D, everybody needs magnesium, everybody needs zinc, everybody needs vitamin C. This is basic human nutrition. These are vital nutrients. There's nobody that doesn't need these things. If you don't get them, you, you will have disease. Most diseases that we're seeing in society today are due to nutritional deficiencies. And yet the pharmaceutical complex profits off of sickness and disease and the continuation of that disease and making sure that everybody stays as sick as possible for as long as possible so they can keep making money off cancer treatments and psychiatric drugs and blood pressure drugs and all these other things that don't work. You know, statin drugs, what a scam. Statin drugs, give me a break. Just poisoning America for profit. That's what the drug companies do. The answers are so simple. You know, you want to make America great again? You got to make America healthy again. And, you know, I've said this to President Trump before too. President Donald Trump, you know I voted for you. You know I predicted your victory. But if you think that the drug companies are going to voluntarily hold up their hands and ask you to make sure that they make less money, you're kidding yourself. That's never going to happen. Drug companies don't want to make less money. They don't want people to prevent depression for, you know, a nickel a day or whatever it costs with magnesium. They don't want people to have this information. They don't want people to be healthy and, and to be free from the hospitals and free from the doctors and free from the cancer clinics because they, the drug companies, make less money when people get well. It's that simple. It's basic economics. It's not even a conspiracy theory. It's just their revenue model. It's their business. They make money off people staying sick. They lose money when people get well. You hand out magnesium to the entire country, people don't need depression drugs anymore and people have less heart disease and people have less diabetes, by the way. Magnesium is a multi-purpose mineral. So the answers are right there, that's all I'm saying. The answers are, are just, we can solve all the big problems in this country right now having to do with health. We know the answers to cancer, we know how to prevent and reverse type two diabetes, we know how to prevent heart disease, we know how to use nutrition for literally just a few pennies a day. I mean, less than a dollar a day total of all the nutrients that you need, less than a dollar a day. We could, we could revolutionize healthcare in this country. But it means taking profits away from the corrupt criminal ph pharmaceutical industry and the corrupt FDA and the corrupt CDC and all those corrupt bureaucrats in Washington who are nothing but prostitutes for the pharmaceutical industry. That's what it means. And there's nobody better to get that done than somebody like Donald Trump. I don't know if this is high on his list, but 
nobody else has gone after Big Pharma. Let's see if Trump can do something about it in the next few years. Hillary Clinton wouldn't have done anything about it. She was promoted by Big Pharma. You know, Obama didn't do anything about it. Bush didn't do anything about it. None of the insiders would ever go after Big Pharma and try to make real medicine legal, for one thing, like, like magnesium or herbs or nutritional supplements, and, and make it affordable. No one was willing to do that because they were all tied in with Big Pharma. They're all prostitutes of the drug industry. But President Trump is no prostitute. No, sir. <laughs> he is his own person. Whether you like that person or not is up to you, but he is no puppet of the pharmaceutical industry. So let's, let's see if he can do something about this. In the meantime, watch for daily news headlines on all of this at naturalnews.com. Thank you for joining me. This is Mike Adams, the Health Ranger, editor of Natural News and Lab Science Director and founder of cwclabs.com.